The Department of Defense adopted a mandate to be LEED certified silver. And at the same time, they wanted to change their whole development process for outdoor spaces and streets. So what we did is we developed the conceptual design for the overall roadway, the sustainable or low impact design elements. And we integrated essentially the pedestrian and the sustainable part of the site with the engineering of the roadway by Berger Abam. So here's the typical right of way for the Pendleton Boulevard. Uh, two drive lanes either direction, 22 feet wide plus a 5 foot bike lane, a 12 foot wide median, landscape median, which allows a left turn, turn pocket. On either side of that are the two rain gardens which clean all of the pollution that comes off these four lanes of road. So with, uh, with the design of this roadway, two thirds of the width of the 160 feet is porous pavement or rain gardens. All the water coming off the sidewalk and in this uh, access parking lane goes directly into a gravel basin, is cleaned, and then is allowed to infiltrate back into the rain garden. These pavers, actually, the water goes through it, drains into the ground. So it doesn't have to go into a storm drain and go into the sound and pollute the creeks and kill fish. You know, it's a lot better looking than just asphalt or more concrete. There are portions of the sidewalk that have the same rubber cushioning that athletic tracks have so that the soldiers that are running around the fort can run on that section of it and it's a lot less stressful for their legs. This is a place where people are coming back really wounded and they need a chance to restore themselves. And if we could build a restorative environment, which feels like an everyday environment, but it's slowly restoring them, almost subconsciously in the daily paths and how they use it, then that would be the most successful thing that you could leave as a legacy for those soldiers and for our profession.